<laughs> Back at 9.52 with a look at the social scene. One millennial is wigging out, literally, after her employer told her she could not wear her pink hair to work because it was against the dress code. Emily says she didn't learn of the policy until after she was hired and said dyeing her hair wasn't an option. Instead, she found a workaround by rocking horribly made wigs. Emily standing by her decision, wearing a new wacky wig every day to work, including some bought by her followers who support her sentiments that a person's hair is not a reflection of who they are or of what they are capable. So is this the best <laughs> handling of a dress code? Do you agree or disagree? Well, she's still working there, so apparently those wigs fit within the dress code that they allow, yeah. so I say, why not? Oh, yeah. And if her hair was pink, I'm assuming during the interview process, or was it pink? No, it wasn't. She's saying she... that she didn't know that it wasn't a part of the dress code, so I'm assuming Until, she got okay, it made maybe pink, she changed right? it after Because if, it, now, I will say, if, she, if her hair was pink in the interview, then they should have told exactly. her. Exactly. Yeah. But I just kind of assumed, maybe I just, I assumed it wasn't, and then uh -huh, she dyed then it she... pink after the fact, and they're like, uh, you can't do yeah, that. Yeah, that's probably what happened. Yeah. I don't know. I'm here for it. I think it's fun. It's yeah, cute. Sure. And she's within, I guess, the code now. I do think it's interesting that they would say the pink hair is distracting and then she's wearing what I would I would think <laughs> they would assume also is or More would describe as distracting hair mm -hmm. as well. So it's an, it's an interesting mm. way to make a point. Yeah. yeah.